beautiful people. My name is Nistaku and welcome back to Corpse Party. We pulled a lever, right? It appears to be uh, we pull it. We pulled it. And then it and then it activates that. Alright, yeah, we did that. We we did that. Okay, cool. That's that's all in this room, right? The scrap of paper pinned to the wall, you notice dark spots dotting the page. Oh yeah, we've already read this. We already we already read that. Uh, where are we? We oh that's right. Okay, so now we have to go back into the room with the ghost boy, right? And then go top right. It has been a mess trying to find I think it took me like half an hour to find <laughs> to find that room. It was bad. It was pretty bad. Um, but this should be easy. This should be so easy. Let's see. He should spawn. I don't know where he actually spawns. I think he just spawns in front of the cafeteria. And then you, oh, you go around him. Yep, like that. He definitely has an ending. But then there was something else about wires. I think. Am I gonna have to worry about wires? I hope not. I hope not. That seems like a mess. Okay, let's go in. Hello? Nothing here, right? No ghosts, no nothing? It feels like there's gonna be a chase scene here. I, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Here we go. It appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it. Yes. I don't know what else we would do. Is this gonna affect the... Oh! Oh, that's so cool. That makes so much sense. Because I was trying to find a board that entire time! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, little boy. Come on, little boy. Ow. Climb with me. No way, am I dead? Nada. I just started. I just started. I Are you kidding? So he can't touch you at all. Got it. Got it. Okay. What a good, what a great start. Oh, how fun. Okay. 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 We did it. 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 We're out. We're out. We run. Is he gonna continue to chase us? Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, we're so fast. We're so much faster than him. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, look at that. The music even changed. We're so fine. Oh, new area. The cursed writings left behind by those who lost all reason must be read in the proper order. If one part is skipped, the next will never appear. If you insist on upon reading such dangerous words, too, I pray you have a strong will and sturdy mind. I was still talking about those um, corpse notes that we keep seeing. The memoirs. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, there's a door here. Is this leading to the nurse? To the nurse's thing? Don't know. We need a save. Oh, I should save. Maybe, yeah. Time to save. Yes, okay. Whoa, whoa! What's wrong? You need to stop for a minute? Ah! No, I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, nothing wrong with a candle. I actually need one. Thank you. Thank you, Ayumi. Where are we? Uh, I have no idea where we are. Oh, yes, I do. This is the infirmary. Should we go in it or should we explore? I'm gonna explore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna look around real quick and then we'll go to the infirmary if there's nothing. Oh, the board is here. That's interesting. Oh, this is the other side. Isn't this the other side to the teacher? Ooh. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna go into the infirmary. I feel like that is the wisest decision. Science lab. A fix to the wall. Great. Isn't this a door? No, that's a window. That just looks really weird because it jots out. Okay. Is anything in here? Oh, it's creepy. <laughs> No, no, it's creepy. It's an old-fashioned space heater. Fortunately, it's so full of ash, it'll probably never light again. Oh, no, lighter. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. No alcohol? Oh, it already happened. 
There's an anatomical diagram of the human wall. Looking closely, each individual organ seems to be bloodstained and swollen, as if it could burst forth and spray uh, with a spray of gore at any moment. Ew! There's an open journal and a framed picture on the desk. The journal seems almost decorative, as if it were a plastic model built into the desks. No part of it can be moved. Oh, is this like after the fact? How to remove a tongue? Oh yeah, we read this, didn't we? Wait, no? As such, it is highly recommended that tongues be tagged or marked once detached. Their owners will be in no state to identify them after all. Best to work quickly, too. Uh, before things get hectic, the patient's bare tongue stumps will suffer postpartum swelling, resulting in slow in a slow suffocation. You may wish to put the patients down once the inevitable squirming begins. It's kind of that way. And it will free you to tag your trophies in peace. Oh, what was the first part? It could be a real challenge to keep straight. Wait, straight, just which warm. Sever tongue belongs to which patient? Uh, 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 no. A pair of scissors, covered in blood, vast quantities of medicines. Okay. All right, we can go in the bed. And he doesn't care. All right. That's interesting. The blood on the on the diagram tells us that that's after the fact for Naomi. It wasn't dripping blood, but still, I don't know. That's weird. I know we're in different timelines and whatnot. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Close inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Oh. It's a me. Hello? No. Uh, 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 did you hear a voice just now? I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. Woo! Woo! Save! Save! I think that's all... Creepy. I think that's all the... Oh, we have another note! That was all the bodies for this. Uh, I can't... Oh, name tag. Like, I can look! Here we go. I didn't realize I could look in the middle of it. Uh, jeez. Okay. Oh, he was pushed down the stairs. Suffer compound fracture and bled out. Yeah, we've seen this. We've seen the other ones, right? Struck with one weapon, stabbed with another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Can we read this? We're uh, we're by the bathrooms now. Victim's memoirs, four out of five. Oh, that's right. We're so close. I'm writing these memoirs with his sticky hands, but it's not me that is sticky. Dicky, but something else. I hope you're not mad about this. Maybe you'll think I'm horrible. Sticky? I'm sorry? What did you do to the eyeball? Person, but I got hungry again. Really hungry. Like I was about to die, so I did something I shouldn't have done. I promised myself I would stay sane. I promised myself I wouldn't do what I did. I am so, so sorry. Really, really sorry. Really sorry, but there is no excuse for what I did. With my bloody hands, I took the thing that I've been squishing, and I put it in my mouth, and I swallowed it. I ate it. Oh, he ate the eyeball. Oh, he ate the eyeball. Okay. So, what happens if we go in the girls' bathroom? Let's keep our restrooms clean. The bucket's not here. Oh. What's this? Oh, what is that? Seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like a person. What is... Is this like if you have a bad ending for Naomi? Somebody died here. I can hear her voice. What is... Is that you mean like tied to the spectral oh. realm or something? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, stop! Okay, I'm gonna need the kibi jeebies. Stop it! Stop! Ooh, why, brother? The panty shot? Are you kidding me? In this, in this, in this time of need, we need a panty shot. Yep, 
That's what's gonna calm us down. Oh, that's awful. She just freaking heard Seiko die. What the heck is going on around here? Oh no. Are we- is this what's gonna be happen to us? Oh no, she's here. Are you alright, Shinozaki? She all freaked out now? Oh, not again. <laughs> Come on. Can we, like, pick her up? Oh. Bring me more. I'll do whatever I ask of you. Gosh, she's so creepy. Ooh, I don't care if you're innocent. You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I'm sure as heck not sharing with the likes of you. What is this? Is she possessed by another spirit? Gosh, it's so creepy. Ooh. Cleanup is a real pain in the booty, too, you know. Have some pity. Oh. Is it over? Why is she... What's up? Oh. Fight it, Shinazaki. Cut the crap. Oh, this is gonna be a bad... Okay, uh... She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Fight it. I'm not gonna be mean to her. No. Stop it! Creepy! Oh. <laughs> Excuse you? The heck? That really hurt! I believed in you! Does anybody listen to me? What the heck are you talking about? This is, this is this is weird. I don't understand a single word you're saying. Is this how they separate? <laughs> okay, all right. Are we literally leaving her? Gosh darn it! Oh, a spirit's there. Oh, is she pissed? Is she gonna kill us? Hello, hello, hello. Hello? 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 Ayumi? Tag, you're it! <laughs> I'm going to the boys' bathroom. Is there a memoir here for me? Nothing. 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 Yippee! Love this game. Uh, alright, Ayumi, you chill there. I'm gonna go talk to this spirit now. Uh, hello? Who are you? That poor girl. She's lost her mind. She'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul and someone else's to take their place. Uh, are you, are you, I'm not leaving her. Are you, su <laughs> so she's just going to wander around here? What? What? Uh, there's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. It almost feels like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. So maybe it's like a whole, like... Ooh. Ooh, that's weird. This stall is pitch black inside. That is very weird. So I guess that's happening right now for them. As we're going through this. Shinozaki. Oh. Oh. Are we okay? Okay. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? I don't know, I'm sorry. I tried my best. Kishinuma! <laughs> Kishinuma! Oh, are we a troublemaker? Aww. We're a little bit of a troublemaker. What's all this smoke I see? Get the heck out of that stall. Right this instant. We smoking? We smoking in the bathroom. Oh, we get to see him. Hi, Teach. Heading the tobacco again, were we? Uh, <laughs> well, no, sir. Oh, didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion. That's what. How can he expel someone? He's just a gym teacher. I'm sorry. <sighs> This guy's great. You're a real problem child, you know that? 
How do you even come to school in the first place? He doesn't have his family. Leave him alone. It's the only sense of organization he has. That's so sad. So by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I don't I really don't get it. It's like his only sense of security. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home life as it is, the thought probably doesn't even come across your mind. Oh. <laughs> he has to blow it off. Oh, I feel bad. Oh my gosh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no good kid like you in the family, but they've never shown once shown their faces around here. Oh my gosh, not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. I wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> Leave him alone! <laughs> my parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say? Yeah, <sighs> Leave him alone. That's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. They aren't. <laughs> If I had kids of my own, you better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. What's the goal of me sitting here and just like dogging on him with his parents? Problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Okay, before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. I see your backseat wiping right now. Can you stop? I don't care about this guy anymore. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. Okay. Aww. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It's, it really is pointless. You should. Okay, I, I, I support this. I should just beat the booty out of this <laughs> jack booty, then drop out. Do it. People think as long as they pay pe school taxes or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies. What is school taxes? <laughs> He's just a bully. <laughs> well, newsflash, they're not. Ha ha ha. Hmm? What's with that look? <gasps> oh. He deserves it. I've never heard a teacher before. Ah, well, first time for everything. Oh, Mr. Sabata. <laughs> Oh, Nanda. Huh, well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? Vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at, at the staff room. So, what? Hmm? Shinozagi. Oh, my name Ew! Ew! You're disgusting! Oh, I hate him even more! Gotcha, thanks. Hmm, Shinozaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? Stop it! It's so weird! <laughs> Always so clear and focused, haha. <laughs> Ugh, we instructors like your kind, best of all. <laughs> you ever have a problem, you come talk to me about it, okay? Haha, <laughs> I'm a pervert! <laughs> Love your eyes! Yeah, yeah, he is. That guy's the worst. Thank you. Oh, wow. You're not really any better. What? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. That is true. And you regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the butt he may be, and no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school, man. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. That's that's the smart thing. Honestly, why are you gonna cry over this? 
Yeah. <laughs> Why are you crying? Did she go through the tough time? Aww. Sorry, whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm, Sh I'm Shinozaki from class 1-3. Sorry to have to butt in like that. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, don't worry about it. Later! That's the first time of them meeting? Wow. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling. <laughs> oh, I was lying, of course. She really saved him. And now she's possessed by a million demons. Nice flashback. So yeah. Hmm. I never actually thanked her for what she did that day. Crying on my behalf. So And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here. Uh, that I protect her no matter what happens. Uh oh. What was that? Okay. All right. I don't think that's what's happening. This must be a test to see if I really meant no matter what happens part. Did you like say it? Oh, she's drooling. What is this? Why the heck are you doing this? Answer me! Shinozaki. She's still possessed? Huh. Please come back to me, Shinozaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason. No reason for you to stay like this. Is she possessed again? Was this her possession? So... Warm. What is happening? Oh, is she okay? Kishinuma! Ah! Kishinuma? Where? What? Shinozaki! Oh my! Yay! Oh! What? Oh! Nice. <laughs> Ow. Is it you? Are you back? What? He didn't do anything. Did he cop a feel? What? Do you... You guys are just hugging. It's okay. So what you're saying... Yeah, so far, all the corpses we found in here have been people we've never met before. Well, yeah. Oh. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. Aw, Naomi! No, this is so sad! <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was in your arms. And you were squeezing the life out of me. <laughs> Couldn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us. Huh, I really hope that just this once. Aw, your intuition is wrong. Oh, but I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot. I felt like it was on fire. Ooh. And then I voided my bowels, and everything went dark. Voided my bowels? No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and my legs just wouldn't move. I 
wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. Oh, is that her being possessed? Oh. I was scared. And the pain was so excruciating. Jeez. Calm down, Shinozaki. It wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Okay, it's okay. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm at, like, experiencing the death of your friend, and but you can't even see them. Well, we've searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. Oh, maybe we should head back to the classroom. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's probably the best. There's Satoshi or the others, though, either. That's the plan? To go just all the way back? Well, yeah, I guess we we did do everything. I'm still missing a memoir, but I have not found it. I'm not really gonna go look for it either. I want a good ending to start off with. <laughs> we already had two bad endings in this chapter, and they're both the same ones. Oh gosh, we have to go all the way around. That's such a pain in the butt. I wonder if we're... Ooh, maybe that's what the infirmary is for. I kind of want to check. I'm gonna... Well, we're going into the infirmary anyways. Oh, I see! Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from the infirmary. <laughs> really? <laughs> no! Don't. That's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. <laughs> Is she having fun? Susumoto, get away! You need to run, quickly! Oh. My homeroom teacher's the best, but I guess you can feel the same way about yours too, huh? Uh, is she making friends with the ghost? Susumoto, Susumoto, hey! Step out of it! Tomoto, it's us, okay? Is she? Oh. She's crying. What is going on? Is she possessed? Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? I mean, that's also true, but... They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this, and then you'll see what I mean. Is that the last memoir? No, Heavenly Post. Four children abducted. Follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are, combined, are confirmed to have been used to cut off cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to the death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. <clears throat> this cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Heavenly Host Elementary students pictured here are the four who were found in that basement room. One of these children was Mola when the investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was blah, 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 blood. Blah, blah, blah. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Yeesh! These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in the photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them too. Oh, she's too sweet. I can't just ignore these poor souls. Oh my, you, I don't know about that one. I'm going to stay with them. I... No, yeah. I don't think it's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Oh, uh, is she gonna die? Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. 
<laughs> what? Uh, uh, really? Really? Another panty shot? This is what's necessary? Aw, oh, come on. Hey, what's going on? Oh. Dang it, what the heck did they do? Uh, hey. Ooh. Hello. Come and play. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Can you guys keep. Give me a minute. Oh, you can see. Only this paper clipping given my mind. You can take the photographs of the four kidnapped victims. Oh, but we don't see the fourth one. Uh. No, nothing. Hey! Oh! Oh, because their freaking head is cut off! Oh! Uh, can you guys stop it? Uh, guys. Uh, gu guys, guys, please. Uh, okay, uh, uh, okay, um, alright, you know what, you guys have a good in. You guys have a good in. I'm out. I didn't like being there anyways. Ooh. Is there another ghost? So cold. I feel like I'm freezing. Can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the heck do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to. What? Whoa, your nose is bleeding. What? What? Don't tell me that. Jeez, and you're so blunt about it, too. I mean, how else is he supposed to say you? Your nose is leaking. Your nose is leaking red. <laughs> yeah. Would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Oh, hello. Whoa! Hello. Oh, she's weird. She's got eyes like a dead fish. Okay, come on, Yoshiki, be nice. You've only just arrived at this school, have you not? So, but you have not seen the That's right. We're brought. Were, were you brought here against your will too? Can't say I recognize your uniform. Oh, she is a ghost. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Ooh. Your name wouldn't. How would she know her? Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? How does she know? It is. Who's that? Yeah. Oh. High school paranormalist. Naho Sanoki. What a way to know her. Hello. She was on TV. That's cool. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. Yeah, let's just talk about her right in front of her, as if she doesn't know. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sinoki. I'm on your website all the time. Oh, why does she hold herself like that? It's very flattering, though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Oh, your last posting was about the Sachiko Ever After charm, and that's why she's here. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Yep. No. <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt. But, you know, we got a possessed friend in the other room. Can we help with that? But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. Oh. So you came here on of your wait, you came here of your own volition? On purpose? There's there's a way to do that? Oh. It's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. 
That's weird. What? How does that make sense? I mean... There we go. The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here... I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Well, now we got time. Fortune? Oh. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. Four kids pictured in that newspaper article. Come on, guys, keep up! Come on! It, it, I mean, like, we already knew this. Like, <laughs> I feel like they're so stupid. It sure seems like it. Yeah. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they could be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this heck. So, that's my theory, anyway. Well, that makes sense. You are an occult lit person. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the heck do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is, in a, is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. That teacher, teacher principal guy, the one who killed them. Are you saying? Oh, the murderer is here in this school. Yes, he's the one probably killing all the kids with the blunt objects. Seriously, are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? Oh no, what's happening? Aww, you need to do whatever you can and do it quickly. If you don't, these, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. What do we do? <laughs> we will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. What? Uh, excuse me. Hey, Shizaki, hold up. I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take your, uh, you on your word anyway. <laughs> right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all. So thanks. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Now she's just the first like ghost to like actually look normal. Oh, come on. Is she... <coughs> oh, I heard that. Ugh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, that's gross. Hey, are you alright? Uh. Yeah, I'm okay. Thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. Yippee! She's acting normally, but I don't know. Oof, I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. Shinozaki. She needs to get out of this school, or she could be in real trouble. Dang it. Why is there no exit? Oh, we're okay. Alright. Toodaloo! Toodaloo! So we gotta find something. Once we do go back up here. Is she up here? Hello? No, she's not. Once we go in here. Hello? Okay. You guys have fun with her. Don't kill her! <laughs> okay, they're just gonna chill out with her, because I have to end it here. <laughs> I think that's just so funny. I don't even know where we would end up going. I guess the teacher. There's that red door room. Maybe we'll have to try that. But I'm gonna leave it here. 
thank you guys so much for watching thank you for just supporting me and liking commenting subscribing i appreciate you all dearly and i hope to see you guys in the next one have a blessed day guys and i'll see you later bye